Hello and welcome to the unit on database management. So this unit consists of 20 marks and this is the part 4 of this particular unit. I hope you have watched the other parts of this particular unit. If not, you can always check out. I have given all the link in the description. So today we are going to get started with SQL. So this part is basically intended to serve as a quick start, start guide to SQL programming. So this is our syllabus and out of the syllabus we are going to discuss about the parts which are highlighted in red in this particular part. So what are the steps to do SQL that is the main purpose and main focus of today's discussion. So at first what we will do we will create a database and within a database we will create the tables. Tables are known as relations. So within a database you can have various tables like so what is the first step? First step is creating the database. Then after that, we are going to create the tables one by one. Within a database, there may be one table or there may be more than one tables also. So we'll create the tables one by one. So creating the tables is our second step of MySQL. After that, what we will do? After that, we will insert values into the tables. That means the third step is inserting the data. After inserting the data, we will learn how to view the relations. That means we will learn how to view the contents of the table. So these will be the main focus of today's discussion. So let's begin with the first step. So the first step is creating the database. So before you are doing, going any further, the first step you need to do is you need to create the database. Within database, you will create the tables. But before creating the tables, obviously you need to create the database. So first step deals with creating the database. What is the syntax for creating the database? The syntax is create database database name. Let's say you want to create a database by the name of school. So you will write in SQL as create database school. Let's try to create the database. So this is how your SQL screen will look like. So what is our first step? First step is to create the database. So let's create the database with, with the syntax which we have learned just now. What is the syntax? The syntax is create database. After that, we need to give the database name. What is the database name we want to give here? The database name we want to give here is the school. So we'll write, write the name of the database as school then give a semicolon and then press the enter key. If you've done everything correctly, then you will get the instruction like query OK. So this is the first step. Let's go to the second step. Second step is using the database. Now see, in SQL, there may be, there are various databases. Out of that, at first, before creating the tables within a database, you need to select which database you are going to use out of all the available databases. So you need to specify which database you are going to use. So for that you have to use a syntax which is use database name. Now which database we are going to use now? We are going to use the database school. So our syntax will be use school. Let's try to use the database. So the second command will be use database name. What is our database name? Our database name is school. So we'll give use school. So as I give use school, now we have officially entered into the database school. After that, whatever commands we'll be giving now, all the commands will get affected under this particular database only. Which database? The database school. So this was our second step. Now let's go to the third step, which is creating the tables or the relations. All of you know, I guess, that uh, whenever I'll be using the word tables, it means relations. Whenever I'll be using the word relation, it means tables. Okay, so relation means tables. You should not forget it. So this is the third step. Third step is creating the tables. What is the syntax for creating the table? This is the syntax for creating the table. Now, let's say we want to create the table whose name is stinfo and it should have the attributes or the columns, role, name, and percentage. So at first, let's say you want to uh, create a table for writing the difference between, let's say, living and non-living things. So before going with the actual content, what you do? You just draw certain margins and make a table. Okay, that means you make the table structure before inserting the data. 
So in the third step, we will at first be making the structure of the tables. That means structure of the table will contain the table name, which is ST info in this case, and it will contain the name of the columns, which are roll number, name, and percentage. So as per this syntax, how we will create this table? With the we'll create it with the following format. Create table, table name. What is the name of the table? ST info. After that, we will open the bracket and then we will write the column one data type. So what is the first column? The first column is role. So the in place of column one, what will be written here? Role will be written here. After that, data type. What is the data type for role? It is integer. So we will write int. After that, we will create the second column. Along with that, we will give the data type as Farkar. Why we will give the data type as Farkar? Because here we are going to store a group of characters. As I have already explained in the previous part, that's for storing a group of characters, we'll use the data type Farker. 30 is the maximum limit for the name because for name, uh, it's safe to give about 30 characters. After that, we will create the third uh, column, which is the percentage column. What will be the data type of percentage? It will be float because it should be able to receive integers also and floating point or decimal numbers or numbers with fractions also. After that, in the last thing, see in the last column, we should not give a comma. Why we should not give a comma? Because let's say there are three things which are pen, pencil and CD. So after pen will give a comma, after pencil will give a comma, but after DV, uh, CD, will we give a comma? No. Why? Because it is the last item. So for the last column, after giving the data type, you should not give a uh, comma. So after that, we'll just close the first bracket and end the entire table creation process with the help of a semicolon. So let's do it. Let's create the table with the name ST info. So here, what we'll do? Create table, we'll use the syntax. Create table, table name. What is the name of the table? The name of the table is ST info. After that, we'll press the enter key open the first bracket and then write the column names and the data type one by one. What is the first column? The first column is your roll. roll. So we'll write here what? Roll space data type. What will be the data type of roll? It is integer. So I'll write int then comma. Then we'll create the second column, which is name. So here we'll write name space Farkar, let's give 30 characters, that means maximum 30 characters will be taken for the column as name. Next, what is the last column? The last column is percentage. So let's create it. So percentage. So here we'll use the data type as float. Since percentage is the last column, here we'll not give a comma here. So what we'll do, we'll press the enter key and then close the bracket and then end it with a semicolon and then press the enter key. If the syntax is correct, then you will get the uh, result as query OK, zero rows affected. If you get this command, that, that means you are doing everything correctly here. So we are done with the third step. Now let's go to the next step, which is the step number four, that is inserting values into the relation. Now a newly created relation is empty initially. Now, what we need to do, we need to insert values into the relation. So a newly created relation is empty initially. The insert command is used to load data into a relation. So after creating the structure of the table, we need to insert data into the table. How to insert data into the table? It should be done with the help of the insert command. This command adds a new row to the existing relation. So whatever relation is there from beginning, it's there. So when we use in the insert command below the existing relation, it will create a new row. What is the syntax? The syntax is insert into table name. Then we'll need to give the name of the columns, then values, then within bracket, we'll give the values. It will be more clear when we show, uh, get, get to see it practically. So this is the first syntax. You can use either the first syntax or the second one. In the second one, it is a more concise form of writing the insert command where we will eliminate the columns. But one thing should be remembered that when we eliminate the column, it should be in the same order in which we have created. For example, let's say for the table ST info, we need to insert these contents. The contents will be inserted row by row. 
that means at first the contents of roll number one will be inserted then the entire contents of roll number two will be inserted so what is the syntax the syntax is insert into table name what is the table name the table name is st info so I, i'll be using the second syntax for uh, the concise thing so insert into st info why st info because st info is the table name after that we need to give values and then we need to give the values one by one here we need to keep one thing in mind that is if we are going to insert number we'll be inserting it as it is but while we are using character or worker data type then we'll be inserting the data within quotes you can use either single quotes or double quotes so after values what we'll give we'll give the roll number as one after that the name is what is the name here the name is allies but since the data type for name is worker we have enclosed allies within quotes after that percentage percentage is float therefore and it is a numeric form therefore we are writing the value for the percentage as it is similarly we can insert the second row let's try to insert it practically so insert into table name what is the table name st info after that values and then we'll just open the bracket now first we'll insert what we'll insert roll number so let's say the roll number is one comma let's say the name is allies since the data type is varkar here so what we'll do we will just insert it within quotes after that we need to give the percentage we can give any percentage here but let's match it which is 73.2 so let's give the percentage as 73.2 and then use a semicolon and press the enter key so now we have inserted the first row let's go to the second row which is with the row number 2 name is bob and percentage as 89.4 so what we'll do here insert into st info values let's say row number 2 name is bob and then your percentage is 89.4 then we'll close the bracket and then press the semicolon and then press the enter key since everything is correct i have got the result as query okay one row affected one row affected means one row has been changed or added okay what is the use of insert command it is used to load data into the relation by adding the data row by row so till now what we have done we have inserted the data now what we need to do we need to view the relations or view the contents of the table along with the table structure so for viewing the relation we have to use a command known as the select command so the select command is used to view the relation what is the syntax of select command for viewing specific columns so for viewing specific columns means you may not want to view the entire data at a time you need to lay let's say you want to view only certain specific columns so for that you need to give select after that you need to give the name of the columns separated by commas whatever columns you require to be viewed you can give the column name then from table name so let's say this is your entire table so if i give select roll comma percentage from st info then we will be viewing only roll and percentage the name uh, column is not shown here why the name column is not shown here because after the select we have excluded the name column here let's try to see it how to view specific columns so for that we'll be using which command we'll be using the select command so select after that we need to give the column names roll and let's say we want to view percentage so we'll give percentage from table name what is the name of the table the name of the table is st info so here we'll be giving st info then we'll be ending it with a semicolon then so what we are seeing we are seeing the contents of the table with roll and percentage okay now let's say we require to view the entire relation okay so for viewing the entire relation you need not specify any columns name so instead of the column names you will give you will replace it by star or the multiplication symbol 
So if I if I want to view the entire table, I'll write select star from ST info because ST info is the name of the uh, table. So therefore, we'll get the entire table as the result. So let's do it. So if I write here select star from ST info, then I'll be, I'll get to view the entire table in front of me. Okay. So that's all about the steps. So this was the syllabus and we have discussed this part of the syllabus in this particular part. So from the next part, we'll be going more deeper and deeper into the SQL. Okay. And we'll be learning more and more commands. The more commands you know, the better you will be in handling and managing data. Thank you very much. I'll see you again with a different topic.